More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. The casting of Frank Stone is set in a imaginary piece of Northwestern America, Cedar Hills, a town that's probably gone through a lot of regeneration. It was a town built around a steel mill, and that steel mill went bust, and it became repopulated, and then become redeveloped in a careless kind of way. So you have a lot of clash and a lot of bits of the left over. So there are old pieces amongst the new pieces. There are people who've come here because it's close to where they need to work, and they don't have any of the values of the original inhabitants. And the original inhabitants' ideas become lost, but they're still there under the surface to be picked at. On the outskirts of the town is the Cedar Steel Mill, and it's a massive industrial complex. And we see it earlier in the game when it's still active, and you've got the giant furnace tower, which kind of looks like this industrial haunted house. And then later in the game, we revisit the same location, and it's since been closed, and it's been abandoned, and it's all overgrown for over a decade, due in no small part to the events that happen earlier in the game. One of the really great things about it is when the player, but also some of the characters, are able to retread some of the same footsteps that characters do earlier in the game. And you start to see an echo of some of the tragic events that happened there in the past. There are particular locations where there's a real sense of death in the air. What is that? There's one particular location in the mill that's quite key, and that's the furnace chamber. Earlier in the game, the furnace chamber is alive and brimming with fire and energy. When you then find it again in 1980, there's been lots of overgrowth, lots of rust, and a sense of nature taking over. But in this particular place, anything that has grown here has since died. For whatever reason, there's just something that's off about this place that just killed anything that's tried to grow here. It's a place I'd like to go and make a movie. What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. We are using Unreal 5. We've been really focused on that from the very beginning. It's one of the first projects from Supermassive that's using that platform, which is very exciting. We've been able to harness lots of new technologies because of that engine upgrade. We are using Lumen for our environment lighting, which gives us a lot more flexibility and increased quality. We're also using Nanite for all of our environments, which allows our artists to include so much more detail in the final product than they were before, which is very exciting. Nanite's this new virtualized geometry which enables us to have incredibly detailed geometry throughout all our environments. So whereas before we'd have to heavily optimize all of our game meshes so they can run efficiently, it also means that we can do our own scanning for photogrammetry, which is where you take a lot of photographs of something and you can generate a completely lifelike representation of whatever that object is. So with Nanite, we can just drop it in as is and we keep all that incredible detail and realism in our environments. There's a particular road that's just about 20 minutes from the studio and we went out and we scanned the verges, they've got these really high verges and the road surface itself because it happened to be the time of year that's correct for the games. So we went out and we did it when we could, which is in the autumn. The leaves all looked exactly right, and that now appears in the game. I hope that's something the players start to look around and they start to see some of these nods we're making to Dead by Daylight and some of the iconography of the entity and the lore and all that kind of stuff there. And as they explore further, we're hoping to strike this balance where it's kind of scary. You don't want to press on. You want to just get back in the car and go. But there's something about the place that piques your interest and you want to go and explore it, maybe against your better judgment. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but there's more than one way into that mill.